हेलो वेलकम टू ऑटोनिक्स ऑटोमेशन इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द सेटिंग्स फॉर सीटी सीरीज काउंटर फर्स्ट प्रेस एमडी बटन फॉर थ्री सेकेंड्स इन पैरामीटर ग्रुप ए यू विल फाइंड द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इन ग्रुप वन देन सिंगल प्रेस एमडी बटन फर्स्ट ऑप्शन विल बी सी डैश टी in that you can select either counter mode or timer mode by up down arrow keys so first i will keep in count mode then single press md button then comes the option for input in input mode basically there are up mode down mode and up down mode up down only for incrementing down mode only for decrementing and udc mode for up down counting so we will keep in up mode then single press md button next option is the output mode in output mode there are basically two settings one is the f mode if you want to continue the counting without resetting the option without resetting the output then kindly keep in f mode then comes the c mode if you want to auto reset the count or auto reset the output kindly keep it in c mode then single press md button next comes is the cps this is counts per second depending upon the revolution speed we have to keep this count per second this is 30 cps 1 kcps 5 kcps 10 kcps and 1 cps then comes the output time for how much time we can hold the output we can set that value here in seconds this is in seconds then again single press md button then comes the dp this is decimal point we can keep we can change the decimal point as per our requirement by up down arrow keys then again single press md button then comes the reset by default it will be one keep it as it is then comes the signal check what is your signal input whether it is npn or pnp depending upon that you can change the switch settings inside the counter and you can change the in, uh, input type then again press uh, again single press md button then comes the scdp this is the scaling point the scaling value decimal point for this you have to set the decimal point you can shift the decimal point by up down arrow keys then again single press md button this is the scale value the scaling value which we get after the calculation for example there is a length cutting application for length cutting application depending upon the input for example the input is the encoder so the encoder uh, the peep, uh, scale value we get by the circumference of the wheel to which the encoder is mounted divided by the ppr whatever scale value we get that we have to put in the scl value so we can change the digits we can shift the digits and we can uh, change the values by up down arrow keys then again single press md button then comes the start point we can change the start point we can keep it as 1 2 any by default it will be zero so keep it as it is then press uh, md button single press md button next comes the data there are two option one is the record mode and another one is the clear mode in clear mode uh, whatever value is there after the power off and when the power comes on then the value will not restore it will uh, start from zero it will start from initial position and the record mode record mode will hold the value it will retain the value when the power comes on then again single press md button this is next is the lock function 
we can give some authorities we can give some lock function enable disable the keys which are given on the counter panel like if we set lock one we can disable the more buttons if we keep lock two we can disable these arrow buttons so like this we can disable the buttons of the counter panel then again press okay now you have to come out of the parameter settings so press md button for 3 seconds run mode and you will come in run mode now you have to go in group 2 so press md button for 3 seconds and then press up arrow key group 2 and then again single press md button in group 2 all the communication parameters are there now first option is address you can set the address value by up down arrow keys then comes the bps this is the baud rate you can set the baud rate as per our requirement as per the controller's requirement then comes the parity it is none even odd then comes the stop bit either one or two then comes the reset then comes the communication it is dis we, we can disable or enable uh, by up down arrow keys then press md button for three seconds and come out of the parameter settings then again press md button for three seconds now if you want to go in timer settings then again single press md button then first option will be c dash t by up down arrow keys we can change the count counter mode to timer mode then single press md button first option first option will be uh, hours minutes second settings how we want to display the timer mode we can change from up down arrow keys whether we want in seconds whether we want in hours whether we want in hours minutes so now we will keep in seconds now again press md button in this we can set whether we want up uh, whether we want the timer which will increment or decrement so we have to keep in increment then again press single single press md button next option will be the output mode how we want the output mode like example whether we want on delay or off delay flicker mode so various modes are there depending upon those modes we can select the our mode referring to our catalog then comes the md then again single press md button then comes the output uh, time here we can set the output time in seconds that is for how much time we can hold the output then again press single press you will get the input option like npn or pnp so depending upon the switch settings we can do the uh, uh, we can select the input option then again single press md button And again press single press md button next comes the lock function we can disable or enable the keys on the counter panel through this lock function then again press md button for three seconds and come out of the parameter settings in the run thank you